Pansexuals, sometimes referred to as omnisexuals, are those who have sexual, romantic, and or emotional attraction toward people regardless of their sex or gender identity. While it can be assumed that pansexuality as an orientation has existed since the dawn of humanity, the term pansexual entered the mainstream in the mid-2010s when celebrities like Miley Cyrus and Brendan Urie publicly identified as pansexual. My name's Anthony Padilla, and today I'm going to be sitting down with pansexuals to learn the truth behind this sexual orientation that challenges the way many of us view gender, sexuality, attraction, and desire. Is pansexuality a valid sexual orientation that is universally accepted amongst the LGBTQ plus community? Or is it really just a way for sex-hungry individuals to appear woke while sleeping with as many different people as possible? Are pansexuals able to live their lives open and proud of their all-inclusive sexual orientation? Or are they constantly bullied and shamed into conforming with society's more traditional views of sex and relationships? Hey, Kai. Hi. Hey, Silver. Hi. Hey, Guillermo. Hey, I think nice to meet you. Thank you so much for coming out and mm -hmm. teaching me about the wondrous world of pansexuality. Definitely. So what do you consider yourself? Pansexual, omnisexual? Pansexual. I'd consider myself pansexual. I like both terms, but pansexual for sure. What does being pansexual entail? Pansexual means someone whose attraction either isn't based off gender at all, like mm -hmm. gender just doesn't really play a factor, or that you're attracted to pretty much of anyone of any gender identity, anywhere on the gender spectrum, mm -hmm. people who aren't on the gender spectrum at all. So basically any human of legal age. Yep, yep, <laughs> yeah. I can find virtually anyone within my age range cute or, you right. know, smashable. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you identified as pansexual? For about three and a half years now. I think I learned about pansexuality probably in high school, and that's when uh -huh. I started identifying with that. Mm -hmm. But I always knew that I wasn't straight. Ten? Yeah, about ten years. Oh, ten years. Yeah. Yeah. Like 2011, 2012, I like started learning. Well, actually, it was a friend that taught me about the term. Oh. Because I identified that? as bi bisexual first in right. high school. And right. then, you know, she was like, you know, curious, like, oh, so like, what, what are your preferences? And I'm like, right. oh, you know, I like people in general. Like, it doesn't matter. And she's yeah. like, oh, you know, and then she started talking about She's like, there's a, there's a term for that. There's a label yeah, for that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How often do you get asked if being pansexual means that you are attracted to pans and other cooking wares. <laughs> All the time, honestly. Yeah? yeah? Probably every time I tell people. So answer. pans, looking sexy, huh? Apparently, not necessarily to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's more so a joke in the community more so. Oh, okay, so it's not, it's lighthearted. Yeah, and if a straight person asked, ever asked me that and I knew them personally, I'd yeah. probably take it the same. Are there different ways for people to identify um, as pansexual, is, is there a spectrum to it? A lot of people like to use the term parts not parts. So you- Parts not parts. Parts not parts. It's so, so, so you're, the parts don't even matter. It's yes. all about parts. I don't use it a lot because I don't yeah. really agree with it personally. Oh really? <laughs> I mean, so I'd say I'm somewhere in the middle of that spectrum because I am attracted to people with pretty much any identity, any biological makeup that they have, right. but still attracted to the parts, but it doesn't right. matter what the parts are. Do you usually find that people think pansexuality and bisexuality are just two different words for the same thing? Well, it's especially difficult for people who do not recognize more than two genders, then, oh. then they automatically translate it as bisexual even if they even know what that means. Right, but right. even inside the LGBT community, you know, there's a little bit of strife and it can be difficult to explain it to someone, especially if they're a bit new and that's nothing on them, you know. Mm -hmm. Everyone has to become educated, including myself. It took you becoming educated about that to realize that you even identified with For that. sure, yes. Erica Cousins wants to know how you feel about people saying that pansexuals are biphobic. Bisexuality and pansexuality are so similar. We're basically sister sexualities. We yeah. should be supporting each other, you know. Yeah. The differences are kind of gray, and but they matter. They matter to people. Do you openly tell people that you're pansexual or is that kept more of a secret? Yeah, no, I openly tell people. To some people in some yeah. ways. Yeah. My family, I'm closeted in some ways. They kind of know something's going on, but mm -hmm. I never really take the time to explain it because I'm quite certain it'll go over their heads yeah. and I'm very certain they won't agree with it. Right, but now you're wearing a pansexual shirt <laughs> in front of the world. <laughs> uh, absolutely. <laughs> 
is this potentially coming out to certain people, this video? Definitely my conservative community. What would you like to say to the conservative community out there? I'm not trying to f any of you. <laughs> <laughs> Before we learn more about the wondrous world of pansexuality, I just want to mention that for as much fuss as I made about it, somehow I spent a day with asexuals was not Demonetized? Is YouTube actually listening and allowing its creators to discuss sexuality and other important topics without being monetarily punished or exposure suppressed? I sure as f hope so. But still, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell because you never know. Any one of my videos could randomly be blacklisted for who knows why. That's all I wanted to say. Now back to learning about the wondrous world of pansexuality. Have societal pressures ever made you question your own sexuality? I was once a leader of an online gaming group where we actually shared the word and I was essentially a religious cult leader for about four years, which is incredible. One of my friends pretended to commit suicide and I genuinely thought they were dead. That was the moment I was questioning everything and actually being skeptical about the Bible and doing my research, mm -hmm. not just doing the circular thinking of it's in the Bible, so it's true. Mm -hmm. And that uh, me becoming an atheist first definitely opened the door for me to become pansexual and accept who I was. Why do you think it's so difficult for some people to grasp the concept of pansexuality? I think it definitely has to do with like how new of a term it is. Just because it's a new term doesn't mean it's a new concept. It's just yeah. a better way of categorizing how you know how we feel, how we identify. And in giving a new way for people to categorize it and label themselves, mm -hmm. What you're really doing is allowing people to identify with the community and feel accepted. Yeah, exactly. That's a part of it. You know, you want to, it's everyone's trying to find their own identity and, mm -hmm. you know, just trying to get some grasp of who they are. How do you feel about people assuming pansexuals are innately promiscuous? I can tell you that as a virgin, it's not at all true. <laughs> 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 What's something you wish you could say to anyone watching who is questioning pansexuality as a valid sexual orientation? Let's not be judgmental. We're all here in this world together just trying to, you know, live. I wonder if your orientation is valid <laughs> because I don't understand it either, to be honest. I really don't. I don't understand how you couldn't want to just be with all the seven billion people. <laughs> no face 69 wants to know, um, you know, when you are in a straight facing relationship do people now assume that you must now be straight? I have been in quite a few straight facing relationships. Right mm -hmm. now I'm actually dating someone who is pansexual. Oh, It's okay. quite exciting, but yeah. she's a girl and while uh -huh. I'm not a guy, I definitely look like one. So yeah. people would see us and they would just automatically go, they're straight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely people think, you know, like, oh, okay, so you're cured or, you know, you're oh, really? straight now. So. so when you date a woman, people think that you're cured? Uh, I've had one friend say that. It was like, oh. oh, so you're not, you know, into it anymore? I'm like, uh, no, dude. You're it's like, not literally the definition <laughs> means that <laughs> yeah. I, I can and I'm open to anything. Right, like just as like if I was dating, you know, someone who identifies as a man, it wouldn't yeah. make me homosexual. I just, yeah. you know, I'm still pan, you know? Yeah. Kilowatt wants to know if there's any major turn ons or turn offs that have nothing to do with gender? Well, I have a sexual answer first. Okay. <laughs> Big fan of ass. <laughs> Everyone has an ass. But also, personality yeah. means a lot to me. You know, I yeah. could find you insanely sexually attractive and then actually talk to you and I'm like, wow, I don't like you at all. If someone can sing and play the guitar, like that is like... <laughs> and do you have any turnoffs where it's just like, that's a human thing that I'm not into? Uh, Trump supporters. <laughs> <laughs> What do you say to people who say that pansexuality is just a phase? I think that's just a very confused belief too. Yeah. There's that assumption about bisexuals and about pansexuals mm -hmm. that we're just confused, that we just can't make up our mind or mm -hmm. we can't decide. I think there's a lot of people that just expect that I'm gonna just end up in a heterosexual relationship and marry a man one day and do all these things, which very well could happen, but right. even if I do that, I'm still pansexual. I'm always gonna be attracted to women, probably a little bit more than <laughs> men, to be honest. Yeah. Some things can be just a phase, and it really is just you trying to figure out yourself. If at one point pansexual makes more sense to you, that's okay. Yeah. You know, you're not set on one thing. Right. And it, being a phase is often frowned upon, but that's not something that's bad. You know, people no. change. If there's anyone watching who maybe is struggling to come to terms with the fact that they are feeling like they may be pansexual or nervous about 
um, you know, coming out. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you would want to say to them? Hang in there. It takes time to really identify and find something that you know you hold true to yourself. And don't feel pressured to come out, you know, just whenever you're ready and when you want to come out, make sure it's for yourself and not no one else. Has being pansexual ever affected any of your relationships? You know what? I've only had one relationship since coming out as pansexual and luckily yeah. she's been very accepting of it. Yeah. I was definitely scared to tell her. Mm -hmm. uh, it was relatively new into the relationship, I think like two weeks in that I yeah. told her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you were nervous about yeah. coming out to her? Definitely. I just said I said it over text. We were just uh, talking. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, you're like, P.S. I'm pan. Yeah, kind of <laughs> like that. Just kind of, yeah, at the end of the conversation, yeah. 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 A lot of the straight men that I've been with, when I come out to them, it's yeah. just instantly like, oh, that's so hot. Oh, so who's your girlfriend? Oh, oh they, so who they are fetishize we it? Oh, right away. That's the immediate response. It's not that I'm not down, because <laughs> I am, but it's still like, yeah. it's like, okay, clearly you see this in a different right, way. Right, that's the first you thing know? that comes out of your mouth. That's the most yeah. important thing yeah. to you regarding this. How do your friends and family feel about you being pansexual. Like I said, I'm very fortunate. Pretty much most of the people in my life are very open and they understand it and they accept me for it. That's more of a secret in my life. The only people who knew were my friends, so yeah. family doesn't know that I'm bisexual or pansexual. Wait, now they don't? No, they don't. Yeah, they don't. But now they do. Now they do, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I genuinely disappoint my parents in some ways. You know, they're, they're great people, but they're very religious and that's not a bad thing always, but mm -hmm. I, it's difficult for us to understand each other. I wish that I could lie and pretend like I had for almost a year, but I, I can't. Is there anything you want to say to your parents who are watching this who were disappointed about you coming out and doing this? Don't beat yourselves up. I, I know you love me, you know? Y'all are... I don't like to compare you to other parents, but y'all have let me stay and have continued to love me even though I have such different beliefs and while that will always create a barrier between us, I still love you and I'm still happy to call myself a Buchanan. Why do you think so many people have such harsh judgments against people who identify as pansexual? I think some people, they're just attracted to one certain thing. Yeah. So the idea of being attracted to multiple things just doesn't compute for yeah. them. It doesn't make sense at all. Like even I went through a moment in my life where I questioned the idea of am I only considering myself straight because that's what society has told me totally. is the norm. Totally. So, you know, I opened myself to up to the idea and then very quickly realized, uh, yes, I am very it's straight. This is the way that I am hardwired. This is the way that my body reacts to different people, different genders, and there's really nothing I can do about that. But I also allowed myself to to question that. And that's awesome. I think that's something everybody should do. What is it about being pansexual that brings you the most joy? All the options. <laughs> <laughs> Finding the term pansexual yeah. has just uplifted my spirits from beyond. You know, like labels don't mean everything, but they certainly help. Yeah, and yeah, you know, yeah. finding the term for it has just elevated me. I'm like, so I'm not this horny mess that just loves everyone. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think the biggest misconception about pansexuality is. Just the fact that it's someone who's still deciding. You know, mm -hmm. people that don't see it as this is my clear identity, they mm -hmm. see it as I'm still flip-flopping back and forth and right. still deciding. I actually have a party <laughs> hey. gift for you! A Best Interviewer shirt. You can get this at padildoshop.com, but for you, my friend, this is for free. Thank you, I love yes. it. <laughs> I practice heavy metal screams. Oh! Would you like me to do a heavy metal scream and scare people? Into, into subscribing. subscribing to my channel and turning okay. on notification bell, yeah. Absolutely. This is gonna scare some people. Yeah, do it! Okay. <laughs> Subscribe to Anthony Padilla right now and turn on bell notifications or I'm gonna haunt your dreams. Yo, <laughs> yeah! I just started. <laughs> All right, you got five seconds to shout out or promote anything you want directly into camera. Go! Please follow me on Wattpad at Alpha Sci Fi for my original sci fi novels, and please join my Discord, Alpha Force. We have a bunch of lonely gamers. I travel in my van and do other hippie fun sh so follow my Instagram, Silver Linings, or Silver Lenses Photography. Follow my girlfriend on Instagram, XHigambana. She makes cool as artwork, and you know, uh, adopt on shop. Damn, you got you just got some major brownie points. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Silver. Thank you so much. I feel that like so I almost fully understand the wondrous world of pansexuality. Almost. Almost. <laughs>
After spending the day with these pansexuals, I've come to understand just how broad the spectrum of sexual orientation really is and how profoundly different it can be for each and every person. In a society that encourages us to accept and support those with different views from ourselves, shouldn't we strive to embrace those who don't feel any primal limitations regarding which people they feel attraction towards? See you later, bye guys. Press a like. Frying pan people. specifically. Yeah, yeah, only the only cast iron. Actually. Cast That's iron. Right. And you keep them yeah. nice and uh, oiled oh, up. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely my preference, I'd say. <laughs> the ones where you can't wash them with soap because it'll get that layer of oil mm -hmm. off. You got to keep them oiled there, and then it just oh, yeah. it accumulates that oh, flavor yeah. over oh, time. Yeah. Oh yeah. <sighs> I draw the line at the clean pans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs>